Humanity keeps inventing new ways to see the invisible, but this time we're not just seeing the universe, we're teaching machines to understand it. And for centuries, tools like telescopes and microscopes expanded our vision. But today, data is the new frontier. Trillions of data points growing faster than any human can comprehend. Our greatest scientists once dreamed of making all knowledge computable, but the world never had the tools to put it off. Until now, the United States has now announced the Genesis mission, a scientific instrument for America. So instead of a telescope or a microscope, imagine a living system that unites researchers, supercomputers, and oceans of scientific data into one brain-like network. Think of it like a large hydrogen collider for knowledge. You essentially feed it everything we've ever measured, recorded, or discovered, and it starts finding patterns, theories, and connections humans haven't even imagined yet. Genesis blends AI, national scale data sets, and quantum computing so it can run experiments, stimulate outcomes, and generate insights at speeds that break today's limits. It's not going to replace scientists, it's going to supercharge them. It's a system that can read entire fields of science in minutes, and it can spot hidden relationships across different disciplines and accelerate breakthroughs the way rockets accelerated space travel. This isn't just a tool. It's a new infrastructure for discovery that the United States is starting to build. And if it works, America could solve problems like climate change, climate modeling, drug discovery, energy systems, not in decades, but in months. Genesis might actually redefine how fast human knowledge grows. If you could ask a system like this one any scientific question, what would it be? Maybe we could try asking it what the answer to life, the universe, and everything is. Maybe we get the answer 42. Who knows? I wonder if you know that reference. If you do know that reference, comment below. Great movie. Take it easy. Peace.